On this video, we will review over the uh, embryo model and the associated structures that would be found on a typical human embryo. On this model, we can see the various stages of development of the embryo. Beginning at the top left, we can see a mature oval, and this is found in the female. Here we have the ovum again and we have fertilization of the ovum by the sperm. Once we have a fertilized egg, it is now called a zygote. Moving on up, we see the cleavage stage. Here we have cell division at the four cell stage. That is followed by the morular stage. This is a multi-cell stage of development. And as we continue, we'll start to see our embryonic vesicles. Again, this would be about day 21, and we're seeing the development of the embryo. And down here, we see a much larger embryo at about five weeks of development. Now, we will review over this embryo in more detail on the future slides. On this model, we can see the development of the embryo. We will begin with the ovary. We can see that the ovary is attached by the ovarian ligament to the uterus. Looking at the uterus, we can see the neck of the uterus. We can see the uh, vagina. We can see the various layers of the uterus. And we can also see the fallopian tube. Returning to the ovary, we can see the primary oocytes, and as we continue through our development, we will start to see the developing fluid-filled vesicles called the antrum. Then we see the uh, ovulation of the follicle, and we have ovulation occurring with the oocyte being released by the ovary, and it will be picked up by the fallopian tube. Now once this follicle has ruptured, it builds up a scar tissue known as the corpus luteum. This scar tissue will release various hormones by the ovary. And then we see the corpus albicanus, and this is a degenerative product of the corpus luteum. If we return over here to our mature ovum that has been ovulated, we'll also see the finger-like projections known as fimbrae, and these finger-like projections will help pull the uh, oocyte up into the fallopian tube. Most fertilization actually occurs within the fallopian tube, and so we see the ovum coming through. Usually in this area is where we'll see that um, fertilization, so we can get to a stage where we have the cleavage of the fertilized ovum. We can see a four-stage development, followed by the morular stage. This would be around the third day. Continuing, we would see the embryonic vesicles forming. Uh, we would expect to see this around day four or day five after fertilization. Now, that fertilized zygote will move into the uterus, and then we will see implantation beginning in the walls of the uterus of the endometrium. And this would be around day seven after fertilization. Uh, additionally, we can see that the uh, rounded um, part of the uterus is called the fundus. The muscle layer of the uterus is called the myo uh, myometrium. Again, we can see the neck or the cervix of the uterus the vagina, and so review over these sections and make sure you're familiar with all of these components uh, on this cell to embryo model. On this view of a developing embryo, at about five weeks of development, we can see various developing structures. Beginning right in this area, we'll see the developing umbilical cord. And as we look at the head region, we will see the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. We can see the development of both the eye and the outer ear. 
we can see the developing heart and liver. Right back here we can see the somites developing. We can see our digits forming for the fingers and the toes. And so we can see a great deal of detail on this developing embryo.